Following the treacherous and unexpected Japanese attack at Pearl Harbor on the morning of December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the U.S. territories and the Pacific began falling one by one to the Japanese invasion. As the U.S. struggles to bring together its naval forces in the Pacific and prepare retaliation, you have to take the role of Admiral Chester William Nimitz newly appointed commander-in-chief of the U.S. Pacific Fleet. Your task is to bring together all the U.S. naval forces demoralized by a series of disgraceful defeats, strengthen them, heighten their spirits, and prepare to turn the tide of the Pacific War. By employing carefully considered strategy, shrewd tactical moves, providing your forces with the newest and most up-to-date equipment, and exploiting enemy weaknesses, you have to retake all territories seized by the Empire of Japan in the Pacific, and then invade their homeland. The whole world needs to be made aware of what happens when one dares to attack the United States of America. Greetings and good morning, Hawaii. You're listening to Radio Honolulu. Today, December the 7th, the weather is perfect, and we would like to bring this song for the listening pleasure of all U.S. military personnel on Hawaii. Hmm? Jenny, why aren't you eating? Mom, is Daddy going to leave us again today? Yes, Jenny. You know full well that he's on duty, even on Sundays. Hey, you two. I have a surprise for both of you. I took the day off so I could spend the entire day with two beautiful ladies. We get to play with Daddy today! <laughs> Don't worry. The Arizona will somehow manage without me for one whole day. This is preposterous, utterly preposterous. Our Pacific fleet has been destroyed at Pearl Harbor, clearly demonstrating an unprecedented level of complacency and incompetence in our high command. On top of all this disastrous news, 
Our territories in the Pacific are being captured by the Japanese daily. Gentlemen, this cannot be allowed to continue. Admiral Nimitz, you are hereby appointed the new Commander-in-Chief of the United States Pacific Fleet. I expect you to fully engage the Japanese and put an end to this nonsense immediately. You must save our nation. Do I make myself perfectly clear? Mr. President, indeed, the situation is dire. However, I'm convinced the decisive actions will swing the balance in our favor. Mr. President, the appointment of Chester Nimitz is the best thing that you could have done to put the Japanese in their place. Together we will protect our country from the Japanese threat. It is my direct command to you, Admiral Nimitz, that the Japanese offensive in the Pacific be completely thwarted. Yes, sir. Ernest, Chester, do not let our country down. God, it is worse than in the newspapers. Oklahoma, capsized, 429 dead. Arizona, exploded, 1177 dead. We have lost so many brave seamen, and it all happened in one hour. How many more have to die before we end this war? I hope that we can get back at those damn Japs, sir. We have to regain our strength first. Then retaliate at the right moment. And here comes my fleet. Enter. Naval Intelligence Officer Lieutenant Commander Layton, reporting for duty as ordered, sir. It is, Lieutenant Commander. Gave me the situation report. The Japanese Carrier Task Force is I headed in a. Read the report, Layton. I am interested in the officer's mood. Not the statistics. Well, after everything that happened, sir, everyone expects to be relieved of duty. I'm also willing to take responsibility for our collective failure, sir. Who should I transfer my duties to? Sit down, Lieutenant Commander. Lieutenant Commander, I've scrutinized. The report and the attack on the Pearl Harbor. I have come to the conclusion that you and the other officers are not to blame. It could have happened to anyone. It's my sincere hope, Leighton, that you and all the other men will remain in your assigned duties. America most assuredly needs you. Well, Admiral, we all we all know this is a catastrophe, sir. Our Pacific fleet is all no, destroyed. No, 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 no. I would not say that's true. Our aircraft carriers are still in good shape. So, despite the devastating blow, it's still too early for us to give up. This is especially true in your case, Layton. You have spent years in Tokyo, 
and you've studied the Japanese mentality and their traditions and know them better than anyone else. Your knowledge is an invaluable asset. Edwin, let's assume that you are Admiral Yamamoto. What would your next move be? Well, sir, I would focus on this southern region, sir. The Japanese are in dire need of fuel. So they're going to have to occupy New Guinea. And then all the nearby islands which are rich in oil. At the same time, they should try to capture Port Moresby, which is to support any subsequent invasion of Australia. That is exactly what I have assumed as well. And that is where we're going to stub them. From the Commander-in-Chief United States Fleet, Admiral Ernest King, to the Commander-in-Chief United States Pacific Fleet, Admiral Chester Nimitz. The situation in the Pacific Theatre has deteriorated rapidly over the last four months. The Japanese have seized vast operational areas and are now on the verge of invading Australia. The Port Moresby base in New Guinea is the last obstacle in their way. Its loss would be a catastrophe for our defence in the Pacific Southwest sector. Intelligence reports a group of Japanese transport ships which are being escorted by a carrier will soon be heading to Port Moresby for a troop landing and deployment. Further be advised, two Japanese carriers left the base in Rabaul. They are assumed to have been ordered to the Coral Sea to provide air cover for the landing operation. The Southwest Sector Commander, General MacArthur, will try to hold Port Moresby at all costs. Unfortunately, his forces are insufficient to carry this out. Only the Navy can stop the Japanese. I command you to send a carrier task force to the Coral Sea to detect and destroy the Japanese invading forces. From Admiral Nimitz to Admiral King, I sent Task Force 17, including carrier Yorktown, to intercept the anticipated Japanese attack. Admiral Fletcher reports, Task Force 17 has reached the designated location. Great. Your next step will be to join forces with Task Force 11, located near the island of San Cristobal. To establish contact, your ships must arrive at the specified area. Upon uniting our fleet, locate and eliminate the Japanese forces. According to intelligence reports, the enemy is expected to attack from the north. Bear in mind that after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, every major naval vessel counts. Under no circumstances can we allow for the loss of the Yorktown. Without such a valuable combat unit, our defeat would be imminent.